Show me the sword. some free advice, Witchman. If you've no reason to live, live to spite others. Nice to actually doing this. You know, Dolphy has returned. Not to be seen for which against the beast. Lepio to keep you from hang out. You bro. Ah. Look at this. Life is like Just an infant. Look. It must be born. Barn? Where? No, it's still too early. Oh, come on, I haven't touched uh, power stones of Reginald.
Wait, wait, please. Get back. Greetings, living legends. What? You need a job? It's already dark, I hope they they got him there already. Because we need some time to prepare. Where are they? Nobody here. Well, except these bag of loot. Alright, let's take a walk and be back here in an hour. There's something to do. We locked, of course. Ownership status effect. You, what do you want? I don't know. I'm gonna search for something. What a beautiful moonlight. All right, let's see if Gwent is a pastime which allows us to pass time. Welcome, welcome. So good to have you back. Interested in the unusual, got a special request. Just need to keep this between you and me. You know well, I shouldn't. Hey, who cares? How might I help you? Gwent, you pray? That witcher's rather handsome. Why? Because he's rich. And he's about to become a little richer. The witcher is getting a richer. Alright, let's get to it. Ooh. 
really? Oh, really? Let's make him draw something. Alright. Alright. There goes our spy. Doesn't she have at least one decoy? Well, it's not the best oh, pastime so whatsoever. Well, at least we made some money. We need more bandits to attack us. That single band was not enough. We need more. How was it in uh, this Half-Life mod through Google Translate? It is time to choose to use. <laughs> This is embarrassing. After midnight. Oh yeah, after midnight. Let's see if we, can, if we have something to sell. Oh, we've got some. Let's go and, let's go and do just that. Here, turning grounds are not that far. Probably we need something to repair yeah I reckon that um, this story is uh, not all the end of all that because after all we got this orphanage we got uh, Detlef that has these toys in the, that hobby 
well. I guess there's something to it. Sorry. Long live the champion. Where's my fan? <laughs> Let's take some food from here and eat. Long live the champion. Indeed. I'll just keep it secret. Stock send the whip away those running riot. Geralt, his crest the bridge, master of the melee. Welcome, welcome. What have you got there? So we need to meet them after midnight. So we've got plenty of time to do something. Elegant stuff we got here. We can store it. As I doubt we'll need it during the cost siege. I mean, not siege, it will be most definitely the assault. The well, girl might want to look magnificent while doing his crop. I don't know. <laughs> Care for a quick round of Gwent? Quick? I hope it's not, it won't be that quick. No spy game. Well, well, at least one spy. <laughs> kind of ironic. Philippa was exchanged for Sigil and Dijkstra. He got two spies. Hey, I, I too want two spies. That's not, that's not even new affair. I hope he, he hasn't got. Yeah, he doesn't.
I told you there's a couple of girls that he could use. Oh no. No, he could. I thought he would use a. Yeah. He would use an ability to scramble my. Scramble my cards. Which are dead. Thank you for some crowns, I guess. So we go to our state to store our clothes. Which will make us look magnific magnificent, but are of no, well, almost no use in the assault. <laughs> As usual. Okay, so we've unloaded. Please be there, guys. Is everything okay there, buddy? Right, it's 11 p.m. I hope somebody is there. If it will be only Damien, we can both go to the assault, and that's it. We will own the other team. That should be epic. We will gain all the glory, because others were too lazy. Gaia! Hey. Oh, come on! Now, that's not just embarrassing, that's ultra embarrassing. I've gathered, gathered all these buffs, and I don't want just to undo them simply by meditating, because that will surely undo some buffs, especially uh, which are nearing its expiration. Well, let's see where we can go. San Sebastian, let's go there. this poor town
Yeah, here we've seen some knights. Well, will you stay long? Would be cool if Regis will go with us. That will be incredible, I guess. To fight side by side with Regis. Alright, we need another measurement. Hello. Uh, are you, aren't you a talkative type? At your service. Thug, at my service. Should we go to Delacroix Mill? Once you are there, uh, there, there will be no return point. <laughs> you can go to Assault or to die. <laughs> Because the mission is too secret. Totally got an empty stomach. Hey, doggy. The witcher. It seems some lonely dog had stolen them after battle. Why don't you get to work, you? Yeah, poppycock. Eh, I thought that the news of that wouldn't have spread. About to burst from a surfeit of beauty. Oh. 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 Welcome. 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 So good to have you back. Interested in the unusual. Got a special request. Just need to keep this between you and me. You know well I shouldn't. Hey, who cares? How might I help? Gwent. You play? Him. I guess that someone does to play Gwent with you. So show some respect and honor. Don't you have another medic? Come on. We could revive another spy.
Vehicles, Russians, hey there, so little you land. How much you? for your wool? Find it. So we started playing Gwent at 11.45 and finished about at about 11.42 or 52 ah! or 11.53 around that time. So indeed it is some fast time, but not very fast. Still I'd say it's a nice fast time at all, of all of them. I might use it for my another playthrough on this game. Oh, finally! They managed to show up. Where to storm gun type? Expect armed resistance. The strength of the fortifications remains unknown. Your foes have committed treason. You fight them for the good of the duchy. Captain Dallator will give you the details. Is it not evident I'm busy? Say, do we just eat that cheese before Talk dessert? Talk to the or? commander. They are not to be underestimated. They are few, but none will surrender without a fight. Geralt, good you're here. Ready to attack Duntine? See you already prepared a plan. Walk me through it. We have two objectives. To find her illustrious highness's sister and capture the man who blackmailed the vampire. Duntine is a modest complex. Several old buildings, a high wall around them. At the center of the enclosure stands an imposing keep, restored not long past by the elderly knight of the castle, Roderick. We mean to strike here, through the main gate, then secure the area in front of the keep by storm. How many men defend Duntine, you know? Roderick maintains a team of knights for defense. They are no army, but they could number several dozen. Also, Roderick recently took in a band of foreign mercenaries. About them we know very little. Sintrian's men, gotta be. Ran into a few in town. They tried to kill me. Need to hit them from both sides. You draw the defenders, keep them busy. I'll sneak in the back way, find the women, make sure they come to no harm. I'll vault over the wall as soon as you start your assault. Your plan puts you at great risk, but I sense you will handle it well. Let us go. So it begins. Quick! We grab Roderick's horses and we bolt. We won't vault far if the boys out front don't hold. Not so fast. Little change of plans.
I can't use Witcher senses. I see no ducals along the road. They must not be guarding it. Roderick was right. We can f bloody no, bots. No, what was no, that? No, What the hell? Hurry I'm with those tricks! Escape. But be careful if you drop any! Someone's here! They've breached the back wall! Come on! Kill him! I shall show you, rogue! Men. Where are they? Uh, I knew. Shouldn't have let them under my roof. Where's the hostage? The woman. What? What, what do you mean? I know nothing about a hostage. Must must be the handiwork of my guests. Where are they now? In... in the keep. Ready in their escape. There's someone with them? A woman named Siana? Of... of course. She... she convinced me to let them in. And a whole pile of trouble along with them. Where is she? Pack... packing. We were to leave together, and... old fool. I'd have done anything for her. Where is she? In the keep too? Y yes. Her chamber is in the tower. The top floor. What? What will become of me? Stunch the breathing. I I thank you. This one! Kill the shit right now!
one last chance. Yield. And Harlot got us into this. Kill him! Attack! Answer a lot of questions inside. Let us go then. Never let them hurt me. I just waited for you to come. I... I didn't know where to look. They threatened to kill you. I... Forgive me. I failed them. Now we need only find Anna Henrietta's sister. Where should we look? Do you know? Mm-hmm. Ran into Roderick, Duntine's lord. Told me where I'd find Siana. Then speak and let's grab her. Time is short. Said she was in a room in the tower. Very one we're in right now. Which, incidentally, looks nothing like a prison cell. And just so happens there's a carafe full of wine here. Bet it's stolen Saint Real. What's your point? Stop playing dumb. I know everything. Your plan, that this was part of it. Witcher, uh, what is this? Sorry, Deadlaff. You've been had. My friend, please. You must listen to what Geralt has to say. Never was any abduction. She faked it to be able to control you, manipulate you. You lie. He seeks to turn us against each other. Let... let him speak. Blackmailers? Pure fiction. She planned everything. You killed all those men at her behest. That... is impossible. Sorry, Deadloff. She used you. Part of her plan. to 
Chasm would not unexplain all. If you do not, I will raise Beauclair to the ground. This I promise you. You three days. I shall be waiting. He just fly off? He did not wish to act rashly. He's gone to soothe his nerves. I think he'll do it. Make good on his threat. I cannot say. He can be unpredictable when fury consumes him. I shall go to him. Come again? After what he just... You don't know Detlaf like I do. If I don't do as he says, he truly will destroy the city. He's more than capable of it. Conscience gets to you now? Better... Uh, better late than never, right? Well, it truly does seem the best option. Your Grace, we must proceed with caution. Guardsmen saw vampires here. They could still be about. Vampires or no vampires, my sister is here. Find her. Your Grace, that... Sianna, it's true. It's you. Sister, dear, what have you gotten yourself into? So concerned, I'm surprised. Is there an ounce of truth to it? You... You feel resentment. I understand. But I promise, promise we shall work through all the unfortunate matters of the past. We will discuss them later. Captain, escort Sianna to the palace. I shall meet with her as soon as we return. As you wish, Your Grace. And you, Witcher. You have my thanks. I cannot believe my sister was so near the whole time. Roderick of Duntyne shall answer for treason and blackmail. Roderick got duped and used, just like the vampire. Apropos, were you able to establish who kidnapped his beloved? We've discovered Siana blackmailed the vampire, ordered him to kill those men. What? What nonsense is this? She is his missing lover, staged her own abduction to force him to do her bidding. He was a tool. Whole scheme was Siana's. She was behind it. You're mistaken. You must be. This cannot be true. Your Grace, I know this vampire and... What? You know him? Who is he? Detlof. Same who so recently sat at my table and told me of Nazar. Is there anything else you've neglected to mention? A dragon living beneath Mount Gorgon, perhaps? Is anyone else here a vampire? Where is he now? Waiting for Siana. If she doesn't show up to meet him by an appointed time, he'll destroy Beauclair. He dares threaten us? Your Grace, we have three days to bring him Siana and... Not a word. You have three days to bring me his head. No more secrets. No more helping vampires. I want what I'm paying for. The head of the beast. Do you think her grace's nerves have been calmed? Right. Rarely forgets, rarely retracts what she says, especially not the events. Yes, well, even I must admit Dead Love's actions were highly inappropriate. Reprehensible, even. Are you upset? Why would I be? Hmm, let's see. 
You're returning from your hunt empty-handed. No trophy. No new lead to boast of, then pursue. <laughs> yeah, indeed, what a turn. I think that um, when I use one, uh, nothing else changed, actually. He would uh, have acted the same. What can I say? It happens at times. Especially likely to when the monster I'm chasing can turn into fog. How do your employers customarily react when you fail to meet their expectations? <sighs> Depends. Peasants cuss me out. Merchants demand I refund their deposit. Whereas nobles mostly just release their hounds. And rumors? Usually threaten me with the gallows. A most illustrious grace awaits the gentleman. Your Grace, the population demands she be punished. Sion has committed terrible crimes, spilt so much blood, they... Another word, Palmerin, and I shall spill even more blood. Yours. I repeat for the last time. Siana is responsible for the death of many, true. But she is also my sister. We are bound by blood and by a shared childhood. I shall not allow her to be lynched. Your Grace, I fear the masses might rise. Storm the prison, pitchforks and torches in hand. Let them storm. They will not find her there. Siana is hidden away in a safe place. She shall await trial there until we have rid ourselves of this accursed vampire. Which, to judge by your means, has not yet come to pass. Did what we could, but... My patience is at an end, Geralt. Where is he? Where is Detlaf? We're working to find that out, Your Grace. Do you take me for a fool? I... wouldn't dare. I care not one whit what you have worked on, are working on, or shall work on. I'm interested in results, which thus far have been nil. Ah. At times, I hunt foxes. Do you know how it works? The Ducal Huntsman releases the hounds, they catch the fox's scent, chase the animal down, and lead the Bachu to it. All within an hour. You, Witcher, have had a week. The aid of my most excellent knights. Yet, you have tracked absolutely nothing down. I've begun to suspect my beagles might have done a better job. Allow me to point out certain subtle but essential differences between a higher vampire and a fox, or game in general. <gasps> Truly. Like the ones between a pathetic quip and a treasonous offense. Watch your words, Witcher. But to the matter at hand. Have you managed to establish anything? Your Grace, it seems Siana tricked Detlaf, used him to murder the knights who escorted her into exile. We have reason to believe that... Your Grace! Vampires! What? Speak now! Vampires! They've attacked the city! Captain de la Tour defends the square near the boat landing, but... So many lives lost! Damn it. If it's war this death of wants, it's war he shall have. Get out of the work. This time I'll hear no excuses. Palmer and you.
get her out of here. Sianna failed to appear as summoned, and there. Detloff is not making idle threats. Seems not. Need to make some serious plans of our own now. It's gone too far, dammit. Regis, you mentioned there was a way to draw Detloff out. A way you've avoided resorting to so far because you thought it was too dangerous. Is that how I'd put it? Do forgive me, and I've misled you terribly. The word dangerous is simply a scandalous understatement in this case. Regis. Another inner monologue growing out of a personal dilemma. Just tell me how to flush Detloff out, force him to meet, please. In due course. But first, Geralt, I'd like you to consider the alternative. After all, you could fulfill Detloff's demand and liberate his beloved Siona. Think Detloff still believes Siona's innocent? I believe he suspects something. He must. But he seeks to understand what happened. And for that, he's declared war on the entire duchy? What can I say? Moderation was never his strong suit. Really want to free Siana? Hand her over to Dedloff? Refuse to accept you consider that wise. It's hard to believe, I know. But Dedloff is not actually evil, merely impulsive. He needs but meet with her, speak with her, and he will spare the city. Mm. So say I agree to this, because I might. Still no chance Anna Henrietta will. I do not recall ever suggesting we ask her permission. The meeting. What if it's nothing like you say? What if it goes sour, ends in a fight? Willing to guarantee Siana won't get hurt? It seems unlikely in the extreme that didn't ask for a lecture on probability. Need a simple answer. Yes or no. I vow that not a hair on her head shall come to any harm. Got serious reservations about this plan. Not least among them, we have no idea where Siana's being held. You heard the Duchess. She's not at the prison. Hardly a reservation. More of an excuse. I'm certain you'll find her. You must merely decide you wish to. Hmm. Could ask Damien. That just treats him like a lapdog, keeps him close most times. He might know something more. There, you see. I knew you'd think of something. Bravo. I trust I've dispelled your doubts, then. Not so fast. We're not done talking. How would I go about luring Detloff out of hiding, if I wanted to? With the blood of a virgin? You see, somewhere nearby lives an unusual denizen. One of the unseen. Ancient and powerful vampires. One of the oldest and strongest. Mm hmm and? Tusa is this unseen elder's territory. All vampires owe him fealty while they are here. He need but say the word, designate a time and place, and Detlaf will be forced to appear. So this unseen elder, how do we convince him to summon Detlaf? We must find him first. The elder does not see arrivals unless he absolutely must. But locals... Oriana, for instance. You know, she too is a... Yeah, figured it out. All right, let's say she gets me in to see the Unseen Elder. What then? I don't know. 
You'll have to improvise, I suppose. Hmm. So I'm basically stuck. Either gotta give in to a blackmailer, or fight him. You know what I would opt for? Should we free Siana and arrange for her to meet with Detlaf? There's a good chance we'll all survive this ordeal. Detlaf included. Regis, don't mean to put you on the spot, but I gotta know. Say I do decide to fight Detlaf. Who will you stand with? Should you decide your sword is the sole solution, I shall not stand in your way. Appreciate it. Certainly hope so. Now, please tell me, what is it you intend to do? Crazy as the plan seems, I'll do it. I'll ask Damien about Siana. You won't make me beg. I knew you wouldn't. Slow down. Not promising a thing. Just want to get a feel for the situation to start with. Coming with? Of course. Many hands make light work. Hurry. Damien could be in danger. Or dead. You think so? He's seen battle hardened. More than a few scraps under his belt. Against humans, not monsters. We must hurry. Each moment's delay means another death. They broke formation. Ran. That scent. It's Damien's blood. He was wounded. Let's go. Hey, I wanted to put the fire out. What the hell? Barricade put up in the street. Pointless. That's an obstacle to a vampire. They didn't know. I didn't get a chance to prepare them. Get 
to the wounded and prepare to march out. Doing the right thing. Now listen close. Silver. That's what you want to use against vampires. Your alchemists order them to produce as much vampire oil as they can, churn it out in gallons, then coat your blades with it. Keep an eye out for Alps and Bruxae. The shapely ones resemble women. There one moment, gone the next. Bones containing silver splinters are a pretty good idea. Thank you, Witcher. I hope you're worth the coin the Duchess pledged you. And that you'll return with the head of the wretch that did this, skewered on a hook. Sworn my loyalty to her grace. Folk are dying. Many more will because of one. If her grace learns I helped you, my head will roll. And ours will follow right after it. Yet still we are prepared to take the risk. I fear we waste our time here. Come, Geralt. Wait. When? When last I saw Siana, her grace was escorting her to the palace playroom. Playroom? As in, for children? You sure? I've served in the Ducal Palace for years. I know it's every corner. So yes, I am damn sure. Playroom? So what, Duchess locked Siana up in a dollhouse? Honestly, I've no clue. Look, I've told you what I saw. What you do with it is no concern of mine. Got it. I'll look into it. 
You get back to your barracks. Retrace my steps. Path ought to be clear. And you've our gratitude. You helped us a great deal. I helped Beauclair. At least I hope I did. Let's go, Regis. Here, the playroom's room is there. Service. More searching and less chatting. Hmm. Utter silence. No one here. We should look around at least. Something inside? Nope. Empty. Duck. Somebody broke its wings off. Miniature tableware. And plush toys. Cute. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I just... Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. Found a notebook. Property of Isabel de Roquefort, court governess. The notes of Siana and Anna Henrietta's governess when they were little. I'm not sure it will help, but I suppose there's no harm in leafing through them. Siana gave me a drawing today. Charming. Of freshly decapitated bodies covered in blood. Perhaps not so much. I asked her why ever she would draw such a thing. Her Highness claimed it was a rendering of nightmares which have plagued her for as long as she can remember. Siana does wake up screaming nearly every night, save when she shares a bed with Honorietta. Curse of the Black Sun. Supposedly girls afflicted by it had horrible dreams. Kind of horrible that made some of them go mad. The girls quarreled today. I must note rather sadly they did not behave as befits future ladies. The incident devolved into fisticuffs. Anna Henrietta was first to strike her sister. Siana gave back as good as she'd gotten. By the time I separated them, Anna Rietta had lost two teeth. She ran off to complain to her parents. His Grace the Duke refused to believe my version of events. He laid all the blame on Siana and vowed to punish the little one harshly. Anna Rietta did her best to have her sister's sentence commuted, but the Duke and Duchess proved unbending. Once you're labeled a black sheep, it's so hard to shed that reputation. Today I accompanied the girls for the first time to the land of a thousand fables. We spent half the day there. First we played with Thumbelina, then with Barbarossa, who proved quite the charmer for a brigand and pirate. I'm beginning to suspect Isabel de Roquefort wrote in her diary after taking a powerful hallucinogenic. Cannabis rudelaris, for instance, or... Shh, don't interrupt. I tip my cap to Master Artorius Figo for his achievement. He has proved he has no equal in the arcane arts. Wait, Artorius was the court mage here. A specialist in illusions. Which means... Regis, last warning. 
Stop interrupting or I'll seat you in the corner. The girls told me, if I ever wish to visit alone, I need but crack open the land of a thousand fables, and utter out loud the incantation, Expecto Ludum. A book as the key to an illusion. My, my, this grows more interesting by the minute. Mages sent by the Conclave arrived today. I came to examine Siana. I cannot know what conclusions they drew, but his grace now seems clearly upset. Hmm. Curse of the Black Sun. There's no doubt, then, that she was diagnosed with the Syndrome symptoms. Or had that label planted on her. It goes on. I dared ask the Duke what would become of the girl. He did not reply. I tutored the girls in Nilfgaardian today. Siana applies herself so, though she has great difficulty memorizing new vocabulary. Lady Anna Rietta seems more gifted in this regard, yet also prone to impish behavior. When she thought me out of earshot, she called me a blood accuser. She and Siana laughed so hard they almost choked. Hmm. Blooda is damned, or cursed. What's Cusa? In the melodious tongue of our non-too-friendly neighbors to the south, the word describes the many-petaled flower that blooms in that place we so unmelodiously call the crotch. Hmm. Realize this might sound improbable, but maybe, just maybe, Anna Henrietta tossed Siana into that illusion. Not impossible. She would be safe there, and isolated. We must see. Where's that book? Nice tune. Indeed, pleasant. It's a shame the mechanism's damaged. Locked. Hmm. Tonight. Well, well, the key tucked behind a picture. Huh. Is it? Let's see. Expecto Ludum. Regis? Regis! of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. This is glorious. I have Nahelenes going wild. All land's an illusion. It's so powerful there's no way to dispel it.
as what master of illusion is. Illusions. You said that there might be another sign. Right, I think we'll find it eventually, or don't. Might be somewhere else. Indeed. The whole place is an illusion. Welcome to the land of a thousand fables. Set out on a journey of wonder, enjoy yourselves. Uncle Arturius. Warning, spells will remain stable until June 1252. Oh, they're not stable now. At least 18 years from now. Wow, that should be interesting. Indeed, thank you bro. I can see that there is a bridge, but how do I go to it by this road? 
Ah, oh, here it is. Poison apple. Bloody hell, let him out! He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> Hands off my hearth, dearie! You wouldn't want me to get cross. Then you open it! Now, who's this? A lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice. And you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Sienna? Is that you? It's been years, Jack. Have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Breathe easy? Because you aren't here to play? What's that about? Jack knows what I mean, so he'll tell me where the beans are as fast as he can. Isn't that right? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. 
Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anorietta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know. Because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo! Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? <laughs> Came to look for my lost childhood. <laughs> Searching for my lost childhood. Wound up at Care Morn as a little boy. Don't quite remember how. Never had any toys. Never played any games. What do you think? Why might I be here? It's Deadlove. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like Deadlove, all right. But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? But normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta, and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you... You don't belong here, so you had best be on your watch. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Dulac, Lacroix, Peyrec Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulaik had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. Renfrey of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. 
Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. That you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the Fable Sphere. We can stay here a week, but outside, mere minutes will have passed. Incredible. I also like the music. Oh, unicorns! We must catch them. We won't have to walk everywhere then. I call the pink one. Exciting, isn't it? Reminds me of my childhood. Reminds me of something altogether different. Care to elaborate? Rather not. Him. He always lies. Aha. Uh -huh. Boy who cried wolf. Still does, I suppose. And doesn't, when they actually appear. The one and only. Listen, you little chit. Jack said you know what's become of his three beans. I don't know anything! Not one thing! And besides, watch out! Wolves! This'll be interesting. Right, let's get to it. Let's say for a minute you know what happened to the Red Bean. 
Where wouldn't it be? For certain, no one swallowed it. Oh no, definitely not that. Of course not. But say someone didn't. Who would it be that didn't swallow it? A human. The most human human in the land of a thousand fables. Everyone! Wolves! Run! Bet you haven't heard what happened to the blue beam. Maybe? Not at all? Right? I've heard it lies about somewhere, out in the open. Just like that? No one guarding it? Nobody! Three times over! Help! Wolves! Yellow beam. Don't know a thing about it, right? Hmm. It's somewhere very, and I mean very deep. So deep, in fact, it's completely underground. And who has it? Hmm? A bold farmhand, who in no way and not at all awaits someone. Not in the slightest. Good folk! Wolf! Say that word one more time and I'll chop you up. Feed you to the fishes. Understood? All right, we should go. Watch out for wolves! Tough to talk to, that one. Was it, though? You need merely remember he always lies. Or more precisely, reverses the truth. Mm hmm. Where to now? I'm not sure. We should visit some of the other fables. The meaty ones, that is. Perhaps then Joss's hints will make more sense. It's just a few. Red Riding Hood, Piglets and Bears, three of each. And Goldilocks, of course. Then Longlocks, and a little lass who sells flint. Ah, fine. Let's get to work. Incredible. You must have loved this place. I did at first. But children get bored quickly. Even tea parties with a whole cackle of princesses eventually turn dull and routine. What did you do then? Dropped a duck egg in the swan's nest once, that sort of thing. Stole the pee out from under the princess, who sleeps to this day, I think. Let's go! Not so fast, Roach. Foster! Come on, you... <laughs> no water? They need names. I'll call mine. Hmm. I need... Call mine, Roach. Roach? Are you serious? Ugh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that.
information wanted. One of my eggs hatched into something ugly. I suspect Madame Duck cheated on me with one of the six swans, though she denies everything. I pay good coin for evidence of her guilt. Full anonymity assured, Master Duck. Seeking owner of glass slipper. At last night's ball, I danced with a lady with blue eyes and blonde hair tied up in a bun. At the stroke of midnight, she left, leaping behind a glass slipper. Each woman in the land of a thousand fables is to appear before me to try on the slipper until I determine the lady's identity and in due course propose matrimony. Failure to appear will be punishable by flogging. Fr Prince Hubert will take unwanted children. I'll take any unwanted children off your hands. Chubby ones preferred. Those skinny ones won't be turned away. Which? Get your meats off my mattress. The Joker, who is always stuffing things under my mattress, I'm warning you for the last time. If I catch you, you will have, I'll have you lashed, scalded, flayed, and finally torn apart by horses. Princess Alexia. Fresh goods, tobacco, feast steak, and liquor from absent to ever clear. The customer is always right. The girl who sells it all, formerly known as the girl who sells flint. <laughs> Contract. Lucy, this Lucy, residents of the Fable Land, somebody's after me. Ever since I moved here from the castle in the clouds, I feel like I'm being watched. Help me before it's too late. Balbina the goose, known as the goose that lays golden eggs. P.S. I know Joss says it's, it's him, but it's not. <laughs> from a goose. That's new. You really aim to concern yourself with that? A true witcher should never abandon poultry in distress. <laughs> <laughs> the girl who sells flint is incredible, an incredibly sad tale. Care for a cigarillo? A bit of tobacco? A dab of fist tech? Uh, remind me. What tale are you from? Sort of flints when I was a lass. But no one bought them, so I branched out. Now I deal in snuffs, puffs, all sorts of fun things. What'll you have, sweeties? Magic beans. Do you have any? If it's not the new name of some kicker I already have, dearies, then no. But maybe you'd like some. Hey, where'd you get that ribbon? That's mine. Is that so? Then why was it lying in the bushes? Find us keepers, sweetheart. The ribbon. Mind explaining what the fuss is about? There's not much to explain. I got it from a Turius Vigo when I was a child. It was to protect me from evil. It clearly didn't work, given how I ended up. But it means a lot to you. How should I put this? I have so few mementos from my childhood. And the Ripon reminds me of the good old days, when I was someone else. Dears, could you continue this touching scene elsewhere, hmm? You're scaring away my customers. Give Sienna the Ribbon. Why not, huh? Sugar Plum. The only thing I hand out for free is a first hit. To get them to come back for a second, of course. For all else, you've got to pay. What if I asked you nicely? Ask me nicely and I might play you for it. A round of cards? All right, let's play. If you lose, you give me the ribbon. Don't get your hopes up. None can best me at Gwent. Where's cheese faction? She can have. <laughs> yes, indeed. It was a terrible fan. But I've got indeed. 
Right, we gotta do something, so. And we did. Okay, so we can. That's 20. Alright. We just keep going. We need one more spy. Not bad, though, but that will do. What's an embarrassing game of what? <laughs> Indeed. He just doesn't say. I'm shocked myself. You could move. <laughs> Rumpel, you're good at this. A word to us, Giffen. The ribbon's yours. Now skedaddle. you want in return. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Don't want anything in return. Hi. Hmm. Thank you. Exactly. Like I said, tobacco, fish tech, all sorts of things. Have a look. Alright, she got gold ball, golden thread, fish tech, indeed, magic dust, magic mirror shard, bow and ashes, table setting, expensive toys, hmm, <laughs> gingerbread man. Corkscrew, false teeth, corks, magic mushrooms, poison apple. <laughs> Fifteen toxicity. <laughs> Gingerbread, cookies, magic food. <laughs> yeah, except these. We need some money. I don't know <laughs> what will you do to that, or. Cool who you sell it to, but we need your money. Wasting time here, Siana. Let's go.
Lost Tower? Indeed. It's even taller than I remember. Wait. What Joss said about the third beam, remember? In the possession of a bold farmhand somewhere deep beneath the ground. Yes, this must be it. Let's go. Watch out! Pixies! Three little pig songs. Well, you know the story, don't you? Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Looks like big bad's already blown down the houses of straw and sticks. Brick's the only one left. We should look inside. Remember Joss's words? Mm -hmm. One bean lies out in the open, guarded by three nobodies. Yeah, could be it. <laughs> three nobodies. <laughs> The big bad witcher huffed and puffed, and look, got a bean. It cannot be. What cannot be? You actually have a sense of humor. Stunted a bit, but yeah, it's there. Well, well. Aren't you full of surprises? What else are you hiding behind that gruff exterior? Not a bad singer. Do a pretty mean rendition of the Maids of Vicovaro, for instance. Some other time, maybe. But here we are chatting away when there's work to do. We must keep looking. Magic in general. Illusions, portals, all that. Don't trust any of it. 
A bow of old-fashioned tastes, eh? I like that. Such exquisite robes, the world's never seen. Stunning, are they not? My new robes, absolutely stunning. Doesn't seem to be at home. A feather, broken. There was a fight. A feather, broken. It was a fight. Goose feathers. Must have been flapping its wings. Or did it just get plucked? Watch out! Pixies! That's one beam down. Good work. Hey, there, in the trees. Some kind of camp. Show me what you got. the key. Good thing you posted that notice. Never would have found you otherwise. Oh look, she laid the golden egg for you. <laughs> <laughs> if only all my employers were that generous. Would have preferred a magic bean, but not about to complain. Did you really travel all the way here for a contract? Of the job. I don't believe it. You must have had another reason. Hmm. Well, spent a few good months in Brook Clear some time past. But if you wanted to come back, I think. Oh, yes. Visit to Sanborns and you'll always long to return. Yes, I adored her. My darling little sis. So adorable. So sweet. Yet when they banished me from the palace, she didn't so much as peek out of the window. She might not have known. Maybe just couldn't. And could she also not grant me amnesty when she was crowned? Please.
fellow. Can we talk? Shmooch, my head! Damn it all! I swear that was the last time I drank with Redbeard. Oh, Siana, a bloody long time it's been. You've changed. Whereas you, not at all, big bad wolf. Though it seems you've started running with the wrong crowd. And who should I run with, eh? Thumbelina? One shot and she's under the table. But the bet, what brings you? You can always have a drink with us. Oh, what? No! Not on your life. I can barely stand, I'm so hungover. You know what they say about the hair of the dog? Out of the question! And why must you drink? Do you wish to drown some sorrow? And I don't mean to pry, but you don't look much like a young duchess to me. They stripped me off my title and birthright, then banished me. A family spat, let's say. Listen, looking for magic beans. See any? I was given one for safekeeping, but... Where is it? Talk! Shh, not so loud. Oh, I can be much louder than this. And resort to other means of persuasion. Ah, uh, right there, the threats. Siana to a T. Listen, I exist to restage a fairy tale. If you want to play at it, I'll be happy to oblige. But it won't be easy. The thing is, little red riding hoods popped her claws. What? A thousand times they cut my gut open, filled it full of rocks and drowned me in the river. So once you stopped coming, I decided to repay the little imp for all her loving labor. Good now, what's at the bottom of the well, she and the hunter, which means we can't play, and I'm under no obligation to talk to you, not about beans, nor anything else. So leave me be. Sod off. <laughs> that was mean. Hmm. Wolf's pretty cranky. Surprised? Think about it. He was cast in the role of the nemesis without ever asking for it. It's a dog's life, I tell you. So, what now? Don't worry. I'll play with him. Or rather, play him. I just need that little red hood. A piece of apparel, that is. Not the poor girl's corpse. That's a relief. You wish to help me? Here's your chance. Jump in the well and fish it out. Well, chop chop. Again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you! Alright. Time to jump in the well. Break a leg. Oh, look at his notes. 
Central Guard and Special Forces in Syria. It is seven years today since we last saw Siana and Amarieta. The spell is really starting to decay now, and some of the residents of these lands are beginning to go mad. The wolf murdered with Red Riding Hood, and the hunter, the witch roasted Tom Thumb, alive along with the seven famous four Enforcians and pixies attack anyone who comes near. We sought shelter in the clouds, but the giant drove us away. Our last resort is the ship of King Thrushbeard. Thrushbeard. We are planning to wait the worst of it out in the middle of the lake. <laughs> well, what do you say? New Guardian Special Forces that were, were here. Yep, look what I got. That would never fit you. Give it to me. How do I look? Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's go see the big bad wolf. Let me guess. You'll play the granddaughter. Mm -hmm. And you, the hunter. You again? I thought I was clear. I will not talk to you if little Red Riding Hood is not with you. Not a problem. Siana can take her place. What? Very well. It's not as if I can forbid you. <laughs> Granddaughter, come closer, sweetie. But, Grandmama, what big eyes you have. The better to see you is, my dear. Granny, what big arms you have. The better to embrace you is, my dear. And, Grandmama, Big teeth you have, eh? The better to eat you is, my dear. about the red bean. A human has it, and he definitely didn't swallow it. Mm-hmm. Gotta open his belly. Bottle caps, fake teeth, the corkscrew. Ah, here it is. Red bean. Well then, one step closer to our goal. What? Now I find myself wondering if you're just horribly discreet, or if those mutations completely scrubbed away your curiosity. Are you really not interested in what happened? In what became of me after they cast me out? Well, since you brought it up, I'd gladly hear the rest. Let's see. They escorted you out of the duchy. Yes. And the noble knights of Toussaint and I didn't stop until we reached the Ketdu wilderness. They left me there alone, without a copper, in a torn lace dress, right when the frosts were setting in. They assumed something would eat me, or that I'd do everyone a favor and die of hunger. But as always, I failed to live up to expectations. I wandered the woods for a week, went purple from the cold, 
gnawed the bark from twigs. Finally, I saw a light among the trees. A campsite. They were bandits, bearded, drunk, spattered with blood. And I was sure they'd rape me or kill me. Or both. Take it neither happened? That's when I learned a robber and a murderer can be a better man than a knight in shining armor. They took me in, we set off for Nazaire, and I did what I could to repay them. I advanced in their ranks rather quickly. Eventually, I became their leader of the whole ragged band. Should have stayed there, maybe. Perhaps. Perhaps I should have forgotten everything, started a new life. But you know what? There came a point when I thought, you wanted a monster, then a monster you shall get. Been through a lot. I have. And throughout this time, my sister was stomping grapes and shagging minstrels on down bedding. She wasn't the one to banish you. And I'm not angry at her for that. I'm angry at her because she forgot about me. Right. We've had our chat. Come. Hey, where's my loot? Oh, here it is. Say like two corkscrew and bottle caps. Right, where is this lake? Oh, this is a roach indeed. In full gear. After the well. Trying to find it. Where we found New Guardian Special Force. Night is strange. Doesn't look like he's out of any fairy tale I know. Wonder how he got here. In past times, Honorietta and I would occasionally run into him here. You see, knights errant far outnumber princesses in the real world. So some knights would sneak into the playroom, then into this land, in search of their fairy tale damsels. That's all. Only to be shredded to bits by a swarm of pixies. I had these delicious. Four animals stacked atop each other. What was the tale called again? The musicians of Blathiken. Ah! Huh. You've summoned to the town as well, don't you? But my tale's not much like this one. Musicians so black. <laughs> Cave and long locks. Interesting. Three bears. Three stools, three beds, three bowls. One a bit too big, the other too small, the third just right. She deserved, as I see it. Always took what she wanted without asking. No being here. Gotta keep looking. Someone! Someone! I really have to do it 
on this table. By the way, is there a way to go through it peacefully? Or you don't know? Maybe we'll try it again, shall we? But I need a quick uh, AFK. I'll be right back. Just leave. Alright, let's slow then. No other way. So do we load or not? No, alright. Let's wait a bit I'm back. Now that's just big mushroom. It's always grapple up her braids in the past, but I don't see it anywhere. We'll find another way up. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. Prince's corpse. Tried to free Longlocks, but fell and broke his neck. It's a cruel ending. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
a bean. Here it is. Would have stunk to climb all that way for nothing. Jump down. I was trying to look what's down there, but all right. So, got the beam, but long locks. Hmm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, and these and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? Dead love was a tool, and only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. I trust no one. Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. To use him. Was that your plan from the start? No. At first, I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Deadlock. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick and gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me, too? Ugh, oh, brother, I hate to disappoint you, Geralt, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. No, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Deadlove, I... Somehow I knew, call it intuition. That he meant me no harm. That he was trying to frighten me off, for he, too, was scared. Now do you understand? I guess. What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. I truly enjoyed it at first. But only at first. He did not love like a man. But like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally, wildly. To return such a feeling, anyone would be hard-pressed. Let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared. Yes. There was no other way. Let's just be friends, or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. But then, once I decided to return, clean up some old affairs, I remembered him, and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. And either I'll get burned, or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Got a history with Detloff now. So this meeting will be different. Not afraid? I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? You look at him as a witcher and see a monster. I... I know what he's really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Now we must plant them by the path near Long Long Tower. Then prepare to meet the giant. I need to move. I saw some, something down there.
this will prove a fine addition to my collection. I even got some warrants. Wait. Why? The stalk will sprout abruptly, very abruptly. We must be careful. All right, toss them. It's always got to go. The home stretch. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... ...him.
fairy tale creature. That was one tough son of a wench. I told you this land had gone ape mad, though I did not expect it to be so severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. That's so? How? Plan to use me like you did Deadloff? No, I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt, and I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. Just gonna go our separate ways. No parting words. Did you wish to tell me something? Actually, that'd probably be best. Oh my. No woman's ever treated you this way. Not that I recall, no. In that case, at last you felt what so many women in this world feel at times. <sighs> I just hope this tale has a happy ending. For me, for you. For everyone. That may very well depend on you. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing beyond what you heard. For now. Come. The exit's this way. There's some reading to do in the bestiary. Big bad wolf. <laughs> you ask why I have these big hands, my friend? Well, I'll tell you my secret exercise. Big bad wolf. The big bad wolf who lived in the land of Thousand Fables was like the other denizens of that strange sphere created by Artorios Vigo based on a figure from folk tales. Once he served as a playmate to the Duke's daughter, acting out scenes with a certain red-hooded girl and her grandmother. But as the fables land slowly degenerated, so did he. Geralt and Sienna met the big bad wolf while he was nursing a nasty hangover and was not eager to cooperate. Yet since our heroes needed a beam which the wolf, the wolf had, they forced him to act out his tale. That tale ended as it always had. The big red wolf attacked the hunter, played by Geralt, 
biting and clawing him fiercely while his own wounds healed almost instantaneously. Inevitably, however, the big bad wolf was killed and his stomach cut open. This time out came not a grandma and her granddaughter, but a magic bee. <laughs> Pretty little pigs, why bother with brick? In this climate, even a straw house nice and cozy, a little pig. The three little pigs are perfect examples of a rather unfortunate phenomenon. Leave even a, a kind-hearted, warm, naive naively benign creature to fend for itself, and it won't remain so benign for long. Pixies! Look, pixies! We should go! Now! Come on! What harm could cute little pixies do us? Last words of two criminals who broke into the land of a thousand fables, identities unknown. Pixies might look like gentle, harmless creatures, yet in their case, the saying about appearances being deceiving fits all too perfectly. The pixies from the land of a thousand fables were created to protect that magic place from intruders and ensure the ducal and daughters, Sylvia and Anna and Anna Henrietta, did not come to even the slightest harm. Thus, whenever anyone else crossed the pixies' path, it ended badly for them, for pixies are aggressive, warlike creatures, created to kill, defend, and fight till they can fight no more. Cloud Giant Many things fall from the sky other than rain and snow, frogs, for example, and the Cloud Giant. Thibault Fang Fowl, the shepherd from Fox Hollow. The Cloud Giant is most likely a degenerated illusory being. He is an inhabitant of the castle in the sky in the land of a thousand fables. This land was abandoned and left unattended for years, during which time it began to rot, fester and degrade. The Cloud Giant was most likely meant to be a pleasant natured strongman who would carry the Duke's young daughters on his shoulders and never grow tired. When he became degenerated and overgrown, however, he turned into a dangerous monster. After Jack stole his goose that laid golden eggs, the cloud giant decided in the future anyone who climbed onto his cloud would be tossed off without a word of warning. Wicked Witch Once upon a time there was a wicked witch. Every day after supper she would drink a glass of freshly squeezed corpse juice. Carl Cream writer of children's fables. <laughs> Cream. <laughs> Though evil witches are often considered creatures born of the overactive imaginations or fabulous and mythologous cartoonish characters only a child would ever be frightened of. There are accounts of men who claim to have happened across one of these improbable beings. All these accounts agree that the witch not only did in fact eat men, but had mastered the cooking of humans to a fine art. They are said to be particularly fond of children's liver, fried in butter and served in a saffron sauce. Balsamic vinegar, marinated fingers roasted to a golden crisp and, yes, even freshly squeezed corpse juice. It should be noted here that all the above-mentioned witnesses who swore they saw a witch were patients of the Ellender Institute for the Mentally Ill, thus the veracity of their testimony is highly debatable. Long locks. Well, since it seems the, this hair won't be pulling up any nights in shining armor, might as well put it to some use. Last words of long locks. Everyone knows love stories can have tragic endings, but you would think that this also applies to princesses from fairy tales created to relieve a sad happy ending over and over again. Long locks ha had the misfortune of becoming just such an unlikely tragic heroine. After the duke's daughters grew up and the, na the land of a thousand fables went feral, Longlocks, whose prince never came and who suffered greatly from her loneliness, decided to hang herself by her own braid. After she died, her ghost stayed to haunt the castle in which she had awaited her suitor. Creepy. There's a secret place here. Yes, ma'am. 
it's got something to show us. I did not. I actually just entered the castle. Donkey. <laughs> Made you go. So, did we find it? Careful, it's not to be trusted. Here, we need but jump into the well. You first. Exactly. Inside the crossroads outside. I also find some magic gold and shit. The horse shit, that is. the constant bridge that closer to walls. Geschäft. Hm. 
beautiful sword. Dark Souls sword. <laughs> Yeah, it's hidden. It's hidden, all right. Thank you, bro. I will. I have my real doubts about jumping onto this stone because, well, it was a bit lower, and that could be a trap. Secret passage. Anariette and I would use it to hide from your governess, which luckily she noted down in her diary. Thus, I knew where to await you. But never mind that. Has the young lady agreed to help clean up the mess she's made? She has. And stop treating me as if I were a child. Would you prefer I treated you like the lying, manipulated girl? down both of you but no buts let's go really want to be done with this place isn't it offers a lovely view of the valley on a clear day you can see the outlines of done time is it though a ruin like any other I think uh, so sensitive so aware honestly what did Declan ever see in you perhaps he'll tell you himself Mm-hmm. It's always a bit nerve-wracking meeting an ex, especially so when said ex is a vampire. I doubt he'll be in the mood for jests. I know. <sighs> May I be honest? Yes, I'm nervous. I really would prefer just to run off. I gave my word I would help, I know. But how much is that worth? Yet I owe him this meeting, and that is that. Let's get ready. Dadloff will be here any moment now.
which bound us was a ruse. Dead love. It's not that simple. I... Oh, no. It's very simple. You either deceived me or not. In forgiving you, I grieve. For now, we must part. What? But how? She will pay! You never should have meddled with that!
leave him to me. Be gone. I can't let. I insist. My, what a smashing ensemble. You wear it well. Shut up. I look like a twit. The caftan is sewn of the best fabrics available, and according to the best tailoring practices. But one must have a modicum of taste to appreciate this. Even the most exquisite robes cover only deficiencies in beauty, never in refinement. usually wear something different, better suited to my trade. Got nothing against this particular outfit, though. Just don't exactly feel comfortable in it. And I despise formal occasions. Hmm. Nothing one can't get accustomed to. Now, be so kind as to stand still. All that being as it may, Toussaint's highest honor, the Order of Vitis Vinifera, demands appropriate attire. The Duchess cannot be expected to drape the medal on a suit of armor caked in mud. Palace protocol places enormous emphasis on form, virtuous tradition, etiquette. Huh. A tradition which values appearances ahead of all else. Which calls for lordly, glistening triviality and misplaced generosity. Sound wistful. Pensive, Regis. That because they refuse to buy you a new outfit? Hardly. It's the tone I ever adopt when I find myself pondering, which, believe it or not, happens quite a lot. Besides, I've no need for a new outfit as I shall not be attending the ceremony. Why not? Because unlike you, I don't have to. I shall begin to pack my belongings instead. I trust you'll join me later, once you're richer by a medal and a fascinating new experience? Count on it. Hmm. Ceremonies. Medals honoring virtues. Just keeps coming up. I've had no reprieve either. And I keep thinking of the last great virtue, compassion. It's the one piece of the puzzle that never seemed to fit. Mean you suddenly believe the five virtues theory? After all we've revealed? It's not a question of belief, superstition, or old wives' tales. It's a conclusion derived through exercising pure logic. Siana planned everything in advance. Had we not stopped her, surely there'd have been a fifth victim. One the gossips would have associated with a lack of compassion. Her plans don't matter now. Can't act on them. Ask the messenger who delivered my invitation to the ceremony. Siana's in the palace. Courtiers pressured the Duchess to lock her in a tower. Do you care not a whit who else was in her black book? We've some time before the ceremony. We could still chat with that boot-cleaning urchin. He was the one to pass the victim's names to Detlaf. Perhaps we missed something. Regis, Bootblack didn't say anything about making deliveries when we talked to him. How do you know he handled the letters? While you basked in glory and tried on new formal wear, 
I conducted a little investigation of my own. You'd be very proud to see how I conducted myself. I began by concocting an ample supply of boot wash for our enterprising young friend. I'd observed that among street folk, amidst their society as a whole, reciprocity takes precedence over all other codes, and thus no good deed goes unrewarded. Of course, the same holds true for malicious or destructive deeds. The letters. What's the connection? When the boot black arrived to collect his bucketful, he hinted he knew more. Simply put, we'd failed to ask the proper questions when we chatted earlier. It took a bit more tongue loosening, but ultimately he spoke. He admitted he'd handed Detlaf the letters. He knew this information was valuable to me. In providing it, he was simply repaying me. All in all, why not check up on that? We'll go together, assuming we're done here. I am done, yes. It lies in your hands now to see if you are able to present my handiwork at the ceremony with the dignity it is due. Or if you will first destroy it, crawling about the city's underbelly. Promise to be careful. The swordsman! Good to see you! Here for a spiffing? Dirty boots are a stain on professional dignity, you know. Step on up! Need to ask you something. Yet again? Go on then. I'm a proponent of free speech and I will gladly tell you all I know. But why not get your boots shined while we jabber? Guess they could use a spit and polish. Then I shall take advantage as well. A friend of mine used to say boots should be as clean as the souls that wear them. Clean boots, clean souls. A fine slogan. How's business? Well enough, I can't complain. Though it'd be even better for certain folk to sit down for a shine as they stood and chatted. Man in the frock coat. You passed him some letters, remember? Why, of course. I'm young, got a mind like a steel trap, but... If you're about to tell me this information will cost me, forget it. How'd you get those letters? Beckers brought them. Why didn't you tell us this before, when we first talked? You didn't ask about beggars now, did you? Beggars. Tell us more about them. How many were there? Why, four. One for each letter. Just four? Sure you didn't get a fifth? I can't count, you know. Remember anything else? These beggars have anything in common? What? Come now. Each was different. Some had mismatched boots. Others had no boots at all. Oh! I know! They all had no home! Kid, my patience is starting to run a little thin. Now think hard. Where'd they get the letters? They picked them up? Get them from someone? I don't know. They'd come, hand me a letter, and walk away. I asked no questions. Geralt, allow me to ask a question. Listen, lad. I'll be glad to mix another batch of that bootshine for you. But you must focus now and tell us all you know. Where can we find the beggars? Well, at the shelter, most like. Where's that? Everyone knows. It's just round the corner. Up those stairs, then right. Thanks, kid. For your trouble. We must visit the shelter. Look around there inside. No Ooh. You've to move your little camp elsewhere, got it? This is a decent district. We need no filth folk bumming about. Gentlemen, there's no need to raise your voices. Let's keep our calm. Our calm is exactly what you disturb. 
Your vagrants bring pestilence, take work from honest folk, and sponge off ducal relief. My folk do Live not harm us, and that. they've nowhere else to go. We don't give a flying fart. You? What do you want? To talk. Here, that's a waste of breath. We've tried it, only to tire our lips. We'll use other means of persuasion now. Gentlemen, calm, please. Either get out along with these flea-ridden vagabonds, or we'll toss you all out. Our patience is gone. This place is no longer a rank refuse dump. Scram! Decent folk live here. The shelter. Them living here bothers you. Question is why. Look, Ballot. Another defender of the poor. Fighter for justice. Damn you, sense. We for our women and young folk living next door. When even grown men fear to walk past such rabble. Decent folk you mention. Mean yourselves. Why? Do you doubt it? Hell yes. Hear that, Artois? He poking insults us. On our own turf. We should step aside, good fellow. My friend is perfectly capable of settling this unfortunate dispute on his own. <laughs> she is a dead herd. I can take a hint. Come, time to go. I thank you so much for your aid. I tried to reason with them, but they'd have beat me blue had you not come along. I'm grateful. Immensely. What did they want from you? They are neighbors. Wish me to take my folk, the shelter, elsewhere. They dislike that I help the beggars. I do not oppose going elsewhere were we to have somewhere to go. But you've come with a problem, have you? My turn to aid you. What is this place? Poor house? You could call it that. They come here to rest and eat a hot meal. You help them, why? Because they need help. Need some information. Looking for a man who might have mentioned the boot black in Rue de Garl. The boot black? A feisty lad. I know him. Any of your, uh, wards supposed to meet him recently or soon? Forgive me. Those I help and I are not so close that I would know. But should you wait, they'll all soon come for their meal. You can question them yourselves. Sure all your usual beggars will be here? They're not obliged to come, of course. But they rarely find a decent meal elsewhere. So, almost all in the area eat here. Thanks. We'll wait. Nice of you to let us. My dears, I have a matter to address before I serve this soup. These two gentlemen have some questions of you. Pay attention. Answer in brief. For if you draw it out, your soup will go cold. And we wouldn't want that, would we? Recently, four of you delivered sealed letters to the boot black. I know this. Does anyone know what the gentleman means? Go on, speak up. Romain? Why should I squeak? 
We were all told not to mention the letters. We all swore. You can tell me, Romain. You were given a letter and you delivered it, right? Good work, Romain. Thank you. Who else? I got the one too. I gave it to the food block. Freshy, he got one. But he can't tell you, as he's not here. I still have mine. I'm to deliver it two days after the Feast of St. Barnabas. It's a matter of importance to the duchy. Hand it over. Or I'll take it from you, plain and simple. But I was to deliver it personally. Let no one else see it. That is what she said, and she was frightened. You ought to heed folk who are kind and honest. These men helped me a short while ago, helped all of us. If this individual threatened you, you need not keep the promise you made. All right, take it. I didn't want to see the boot black anyways. It's always muddy there. Damn it. What is it? Another name, truly? See for yourself. Well, well. I... I must say, even I did not expect this. This time, you will see to our Duquesa. It seems we underestimated Siana rather grossly. Judging by this, Tetloff was literally supposed to tear her heart out. Yet first you must snap her neck. Puzzling. Puzzle complete now. Alas, the matter ceased to be a tantalizing brain teaser and has turned incredibly grave. We've proof of a plot to assassinate Toussaint's ruler. We've proof of a coup d'etat. Duchess was to be Detloff's last victim. Siana planned it from the start. Indeed. The logical conclusion, Geralt. Four seemingly random victims to start. The virtue's their only link. Enough to get folk talking about a righteous, vengeful beast. Obscured the victim's links to Siana, even as she had those she despised killed off one by one, leaving the Duchess for last. Had she managed to fulfill her plan, none would have questioned the reasons. Most would have thought Anna Henrietta had died for her sins. She was known to show a hard heart on many occasions, ample proof of a lack of compassion. Why would Siana murder her own sister? Out of envy? To take power? From an inborn penchant for evil? Yes, yes, and yes. All seem likely, and none are mutually exclusive. But if you'd like to know for certain, you could always ask it yourself. Actually, love to learn her motives. Praiseworthy, I suppose. Sometimes one should stare evil in the face. Seems a bit strong, no? She used my friend as her tool for killing. I believe I've every right to condemn her, but I support your lust for the truth. Some philosophers think empirical examination the sole path to knowledge. I believe you mentioned the Duchess keeps Siana locked up. Courtiers were insisting on a harsher punishment, much harsher. Think Anna Henrietta had to protect her sister from a lynch mob as much as she wanted to protect her subjects from a criminal. One way or another, she's locked away in a secluded wing of the palace, awaiting trial before a court of law. I'd need to get past some guards to see her. Coming with? Of course not. I shall await you at Mayor Lachey's Long. I'll not risk entering the palace after Detlaf and his minions' rampage. Besides, I vastly prefer the company of a simple mug of mandrake brew to that of the Duchess's vile sister. So... Said straight up, it means you're going off to get drunk because you hate Siana. I've never been fond of categorical statements of that kind. But I admit I could not vouch for my behavior in her presence. She treated Detlaf cruelly, caused his death in the end, and now this, atop all that, no, Geralt. I will not go with you. I will await you at the cemetery. The 
Now, is, is that a witch, murdering buddy? Be careful when to when I talk to her. All right. on an empty stomach. There's this letter. This time you must see to our Duquesa. Anna Henriette knows nothing of empathy. Her heart is cold. With shards of ice you must tear from her breast. Yet first you must snap her neck quickly and to effect. Once that is done, Rene shall go free. In its eyes, your glow sends my laugh and wine counsel. No half hearted measures should be on walls by vines entwined. Don't tell me that it will be that easy. I mean, getting to her. Halt! Need to see Sienna urgently. In the matter of? Facts have come to light. Need them explained. Seems she was planning your Duquesse's assassination. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you've my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief.
The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius's ribbon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? Siana, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? Because she turned her back on you, then banished all memory of you? Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. If she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She ought to know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. folk have done you and forgive her. Why should I? For old times' sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together. We're inseparable. Honoria'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good, sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? She was how old? Twelve? Thirteen? She was a child. What was she supposed to do? Rebel? Organize a coup? Steal your father's seal and forge a pardon? She was powerless. Wiped you from her memory not because she didn't care, but because your departure was traumatic for her. She forgot because that was the only way she could handle the pain. Ugh. You meant what you said in the Land of a Thousand Fables. You really want a happy ending to this story, don't you? Ah, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher. You will give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Siana. Commander de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Want to see him too. Damien. Geralt! It's about time. Ready for the ceremony? Mm. 
your face. Doesn't look good. Though it looked even worse last I saw you. I apply a balm of Annika. Yeah, I hardly feel it anymore. One, right? We can start or say that. All right, we can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchy's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, slayer of the beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the Ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Feels like a second distinction. I'm honored. Thank you. I trust you shall make good use of it. In a moment I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet you also showed me her horrendous deeds. As head of state, I must judge her fairly, but she is my sister. Thus my heart bleeds for her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour. Show Sylvia Anna in. <sighs> the 
The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial. I shall now hear what he has to say. I guess one. Bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. They've hated me since I was a child, so it me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I don't resent the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. Darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. Wrong, Witcher, she had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish platters, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark, and which you set afire at the last to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bold patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace. Supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you. Sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me?
in all, best part of the whole ceremony, it was short. Perhaps for you, as you ducked out early, the others are probably just getting started. The drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm. Not so fond of Toussaint after all, are we? Oh, this place is like a strong wine gelt. Good in small sips. How do you find my personal brew? Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna Diavolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? If you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for you. Two as white as it was during the trial, so. And uh, it's too long past, so. Oh, Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about. Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. I won't. It will take more than six minutes to us, so I won't load. What the hell are these gloves? Age corpse. You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Hmm. And if I were to add Jimson weed in the last phase, Sucker go. Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire after all. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? Traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. 
Fortunately, we have another rule, an unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying, out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint, for a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. Oh, let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Mmm, supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning. Then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you in your new home. On the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? I think three, why not? find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, the roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. That first stain, Beauclair. Far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. It's sole problem, cellar's too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do.
love to go home. Better to die of drink than of boredom. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah? I need to go potty. Want to play tag? It's next to tag. Over here! Come on, good folk. Come quickly. I have How a you been? What happened to you? Oh, oh. apologize. I need good vickers, Russian Oh, yes. Greeting. Welcome. Good day. Master Liam and Maid Matilda. Oh, I have a feeling. I forgot you. Know. She sticks away. Master Richard, some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. In the flesh. I thought you were in Kavir. I got tired of waiting for you, so I decided to head to Toussaint, catch some sun, see how things are going. You said it would only take a moment. Things are pretty much wrapped up, luckily. We'll be able to head north soon. I hope you're not upset I came like this, without warning. True, I haven't always been fond of surprises. They remind me of work. The law of surprise, surprise child. But I think I've changed my mind. Seems surprises can actually be pleasant. Very pleasant. Let's go outside. There's this one cozy spot you're gonna love.
How are things in Kuvir? Amazingly boring and predictable. Council meetings mainly concern trade matters, tariffs, storage regulations, that sort of thing. Missing the excitement? You know the Athiri saying, may you live in interesting times? Well, I've already done that, and now I'm looking for a bit of quiet. The other mages I brought with me from Novigrad, or who made it north on their own, feel the same. You wouldn't recognize them. No conspiracies, cabals, plotting. They just sit there and work, for the good of the kingdom. Sometimes I think it's all too lovely to be true. That something's bound to happen. Another war, or some other horror. <sighs> but for now, it's nice. And once you finish your business here and come join me, it'll be even better. So, how do you like my vineyard? I think you know the answer to that. I like it a lot. House is big, but not showy. Lovely location. Perfect for romantic getaways. Just finished some remodeling. Paid through the nose for it, but I think it was worth it. There are already some new saplings and flowers around the grounds, but I think it's still missing something. Hmm. Maybe a hedge maze? With a statue in the center? One that's stately and nude. Ugh, oh, Geralt. Don't bring up that ball. The wine got to my head and I... Not bringing it up to tease, but to reminisce. That evening, it was magic. And your dress. You looked lovely in it. I've got it with me. I could put it on one evening. We'll dine outside by candlelight. Listen to the music of the cicadas. Hmm? Can't wait. How'd you find me? Kavir's a long way off. I have my ways, Geralt. A hydromancy, for example. Oh yeah, that's right. So, what becomes of us? See anything else in the reflection? Mm-hmm. Zoltan moves in. Please tell me you're joking. <laughs> you can breathe easy. Far as I know, he settled down in Novigrad and has no intention of budging. In all seriousness, though, I did see a few scraps of our future, but... I'd rather not tell you exactly what. Why not? Because you said you've grown to like pleasant surprises. This is your first time in Tucson, right? Want me to show you around a bit? Sorry, but I've already made plans. Oh? What are you going to do? Lie down in the sun, and not move an inch. Ah, right. A packed schedule. Not overdoing it a tad. Oh, gotta get the most of this weather before I return north. Know that joke about how to tell when summer has come to Kavir? The rain isn't quite so cold. <laughs> and sadly, that's not far from the truth. Oh, I shouldn't have told you that. Now you'll change your mind and not come join me. I wouldn't worry about that. Mind if I leave you here alone for a moment? Just a moment. So. <laughs> Better for which? Dear girl, if you are reading these words, it means I am already far beyond the borders of Tucson and you have found my multi-generator. Of course, you may dub this instrument however you like, or have something more fitting to your taste or better reflecting its function, but I have no doubt your knowledge on the subject of mutagens is far more profound and thorough than mine. I have been working on this device in my spare time. But now it is finished and I am convinced, as convinced as an inventor can be before his invention has been used as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. You are surely wondering what function it is to it is meant to serve. 
as the name indicates, the metagenerator generates metagens. It operates by absorbing electromagical energy waves from bodies. In that case, the bodies of the monster and evil doers you kill, and when it has absorbed enough, so it uh, so as to be charged a critical amount, the metagenerator changes the stored energy into a greater metagen, which I suspect you will make good use of. As you should understand, I'm an amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability for you to direct this operation, which metagens merges as a result is determined at random, meaning chance will decide if it is a green, red or blue metagen. Chance, yet I have noted the colors tend to, to alternate by any large. I trust you shall find my gift useful. Your dearly devoted friend, Emil Regis Rokalek Terzi of Godfroy. P.S. You might be wondering why I decided to toss the mutagenerator into your home instead of simply hanging it to your in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty, believe it or not. Take care, girl, and my, my gift serve you well. This is a glorious ending. <laughs> well, this is it. The end. Indeed. Anyone else have something to say? To say? I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. Hey, we killed the beast. See you later. Take care, Witcher, and remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. You. Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Okay. I guess this is it. As Samuel's game just old. Thank you everyone for watching. We finally made it to the end of, the, of this game. It was glorious. And... It's pity that we have to finish it right, not right now, but, mm, well, it's, I think it's finished now. And we shall good night, and see you around some other next time, probably. No Bye. one can grip the damn thing.